All right, this is the clutch version 2. The first clutch I made, it worked, but it it didn't work all that well. The shoes that were sliding in the T-slot would bind because the levers that activated them were too long. And uh, I did make a video and show it working, but I was not happy with it. And uh, a gentleman on one of the forums I go to suggested redoing it and making the arms with pivots. And uh, I've done that. I've remade the central mechanism of the clutch. And I made a short video yesterday to show the shoes expanding and contracting. Now, in this version, when I activate it, when I move that handle forward, this tapered cone right here, this is made from a, an oil hardening steel and I've hardened it, heated it and quenched it in oil. It comes forward and it bears against the uh, ends of these two screws. And by turning these screws in or out, I can adjust how much pressure it puts, how much pressure the brake shoes put on the inside of the clutch drum to transfer the torque and motion from the shaft to that outer clutch. Now in a normal situation that outer body is free to turn and it won't engage unless I slide this ahead. Once I slide it you can see those arms spread and they don't have to spread very much to pull the shoes into contact but once that's done, everything is locked together. And once it's uh, out of gear, everything unlocks again. I've always wondered how clutches like this worked, and I just, I never ever took the time before to sit down and really figure it out. I think this is going to work very well, but the proof of the pudding is in the eating. One of the things that I did do on here, and you'll see that I put a, a spring right here, and there was enough centrifugal force. Someone had mentioned it on one of the forums, am I concerned about centrifugal force? And I said, no, I'm not. But I discovered that there is enough centrifugal force that it, it drags on the clutch. And the little mechanisms I have to run, it doesn't really take very much power to run them. So, in order to get away from that, I put that retraction spring, which brings the arms in, holds them together, and holds the clutch disengaged, unless I manually override it with that lever. So, I will make another video of this running. I just wanted to show you what was actually involved there. Thanks for watching.